Hello and welcome. For my last video I created Sheldon Cooper's apartment from the Big Bang Theory in Unity using assets from Cinti Studio. And today I'd like to show you how I did it. And if you like it, please give me a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so here we are in Unity with an empty scene, but it's not really empty because I deactivated all the game objects so I can guide you step by step through the process I've been through. So the first and most important part was how to get the floor plan right. And I had no idea that there are a lot of people already in the world that created this kind of floor plans for different TV shows. So I simply downloaded one of these images as a floor plan and then I put in the plane and put this floor plan on top of it. I use a plane because it has a collider so I can simply place other game objects on top of it. And um, it's easier than just taking an image as a background. So the first step I had now to do was to get the scale right. And I could have looked up the, the right scale and calculator and so on, but I've chosen a pragmatic approach. So I simply put in a couch. This is from the Cinti office pack. And um, I scaled the plane until the contour of the sofa simply matched the one of the, this couch. It's a lonely couch on this plane, but you see that the scale is about right. And now I put in the walls. The walls are also from the office pack from Cinti. Next thing to, to check the scale was to check whether the doors, the, the opening for the doors here, are uh, about this right size to um, confirm that I have about the right scale. And now you see it's a little dark, so I put in some lights to light my scene. Um, the first thing to notice is I was very happy that the walls have a 45 degree angle. It's much easier to place the walls correctly. Then you see it's like in the film studio that what's outside the view of the camera doesn't matter. So I didn't care about whether the walls are too long here or so because I only care about the inside. And I also neglected all the stuff behind here. I only modeled this little aisle here and the bathroom door, but you see beyond this, there's just nothing. What you see in here is in the, the original set, there's no wall. So, but I wanted to have complete apartments, so I put in the wall. And also in some episode, they're talking about that there's supposed to be a window. So I put it in a window, even if it's on none of the, the existing floor plans. I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be at exactly this position, but anyway, it doesn't matter too much. So now I have um, the basic scale right and the walls and I've put in the furniture. So you see a lot of stuff is still from different Cinti uh, packs, the bookshelves here, the carpets. It's either from the office pack or from the town pack. I didn't have a glass table, but I think it doesn't matter too much. But you see, I have the chair, the, the smaller couch and the big couch. I put in the, the kitchen table and the stools and the two desks from Leonard and uh, Sheldon. So that's the basic setup and then I put in also the kitchen. What you see is if it doesn't have the right coloring compared to the original setup, but I wasn't willing to invest too much time. So I don't care. It's, I mean, it's about getting it about right, but not f completely. So I wasn't that ambitious. And now I put in the floor. Um, and now I, I simply turn off the plane because I have the basic setup done. And this is the, the main floor and I put in also the second floor, this kind of podium or platform here with this little step. So this is a basic setup that I've done still in otherwise empty scene. And now I've put in the now I've put in the demo scene from the city pack so that when you watch through the the window 
let's put it there, then it's not just empty, but there's something. But it has nothing to do with the original setup what you watch through the, the window. But again, I didn't want to have exactly right, but just about, so at least is convincing. Now it's still not very populated, so I put in the books. You know, books are very important in the Big Bang Theory because they always appear in the background. And then I populate the scene with a lot of props, a lot of them from the asset packs. I put in the um, this globe and things. They are from the office pack. Um, also this Rubik's cube, um, some some papers and journals that are on the desk. Um, the laptops also um, back here in the kitchen, you see a pizza and the, the coffee to go there, regular drinking and some Chinese takeout. Yeah, some kitchen props. Also, I try to be close to what they have in the original scene, but not exactly. So this drone is from the sci-fi uh, city pack, I think. The dartboard, it's very prominent. I th don't know whether they ever use it, the sword here. And back here you see the famous picture from a that Amy gave to Penny, where she looks so happy. And at least at some episodes supposed to hang on this wall. So I put it in here. Just that's not so empty this wall, even if it's not visible in the scene. Now I had to put in some characters. Again, I just used the standard assets from Sinti and I had to go with the, uh, the people I have there. So Sheldon is from the farm pack. So he's a farm boy. Uh, Penny is also from the farm pack, so I think that's a pretty good fit. Amy is from the office pack. I mean, yeah, not exactly good fit, but good enough for me. This Leslie Winkle, uh, she appears in some episodes. Uh, and so I've created this little scene where they fight about the right approach to quantum gravity. Um, and here is Leonard. He's turned by 90 degrees because uh, the, the animation will turn him around for, for sitting on the couch. I think it's pretty good fit, with the, especially with the jacket. He's constantly has this, this setup with the jacket. And I mean, he has no, uh, no glasses on, but I think it's still a pretty good fit. What I've done is then I use Timeline and Cinemachine for animating the characters. And um, so you see here I have different cameras and then I have director and using timeline. So I switch, use the, the, the main track to switch f different cameras. Uh, I have put in the main three characters here to animate them with different animations and switch the animations in the tracks. I think that's the easiest way to animate this and not creating an, an animator for each character and then using triggers and things. So this is pretty easy. I also put in a recorder track um, to get this as an MP4 file at the end, but I currently have muted it. For Penny and Amy, I just have created simple animators with an idle animation not changing during this little scene. So that's why they don't appear here. And then there are two steps missing. The w one is I have created some post processing to get better colors in here. Um, now I've uh, to turn off the directional light because otherwise I get some kind of weird um, artifacts. So this is how it looks from above. And usually in, in the studio setup, there's no ceiling because all the lighting is uh, at the ceiling, but I want to put in a ceiling here. So that's how I did it. So we have a complete apartment here. And now I can simply run the scene 
Now, <clears throat> this is just the first camera position and then I start the timeline and you see now the animation starts with Leslie and Sheldon having a dispute, the other girls in the kitchen and in the background you see Leonard and um, yeah, that's basically it. So this is how I created this little scene and I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe you like to recreate your own favorite TV show using these assets because it's pretty straightforward. So have fun. <laughs>